Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenance. All right, good afternoon. It is not cool out there. It still is 95 degrees, but just all day today, the feel is a little different. Northwest wind gusting to 31 miles per hour. There's the front, and look what's just off towards the west. And this will be working its way eastward here as we go through uh, this evening and in a few hours. You really start to feel some of the cooler air coming through. Air quality, not that bad. And there's the wind, pretty strong here. The wind tomorrow, it will be breezy. 10, 20 mile per hour wind, not 30, 40 mile per hour wind like we've seen so far today, way last night too. And uh, then for Saturday, not, not too bad, a little bit of a breeze in the afternoon, 10, 15 miles per hour in the same with Sunday. Red flag warning though, that continues here this evening. Severe thunderstorm watch, excessive heat warning. Probably not looking at any warnings or alerts for tomorrow. That'll be a good thing. There you can see the storms far away from Helena, but a couple of these thunderstorms, fairly intense, working their way through the central part of the state up into the northeast corner of Montana. Some people wondering if uh, we had some activity on the Horse Gulch fire. No. Soot and dust blowing around, not smoke from wildfire activity. Owl Gulch, Black Sandy Loop Fire, Woodland Hills Fire, all started by lightning yesterday, all done with here. However, up York, above York, the Middleman Fire, there's Hogback Mountain. That one, a lightning strike. How about around Lincoln? Moon Drive Fire, Rush Creek Fire, Browns Fire, 0.1 acres, each one of those, started by lightning. Then the Rocky Mountain Front and Glacier, the Muir Creek Fire in Glacier, eight acres, but the Skyland Creek, the Kalbic Fire, and the Bar Fire, all less than an acre, started by lightning. Blacktail Canyon Fire, 80 acres burned. Miller Peak Fire, Butler Creek Fire, both saw significant rain last night and not a lot of activity. It's good to not see huge plumes of smoke coming from these fires. The Bear Creek Fire, Fergus County, 38.3 acres. The Gopher Fire, 100% contained now, 187 acres. Gilbert Ranch Fire, 300 acres. The Tractor Fire, 0.1. The Homestead Fire, 0.1. And the Sparks Fire, 95. Numerous fires. Dead Man Fire still at about 48,000 uh, acres out there. And we'll have to see what happens with the lightning today and if there are new wildfire starts potentially tonight or tomorrow. But there goes the storms, cooler air working its way in here tonight. It will be a cooler day tomorrow, highs in the 70s and the 80s. Ah, and Saturday should be pretty nice. It should be pretty nice for the rodeo coming up here tomorrow night. and. Also on Saturday, may have partly cloudy skies by the afternoon, especially south of town with an isolated thunderstorm. Tonight, ah, 40s, low 50s. Tomorrow, highs in the 80s. Should be a sunny day, a breezy day. Listen, the fire danger is still up there. Saturday, highs in the 80s. A storm around Helena late, maybe down closer to Boulder or Townsend, the Elkhorns. And then into Sunday, staying in the 80s. Believe it or not, 88 degrees is below the average high. Average high is 90. And Monday, we pop up to 92. But overall, a cooler stretch of weather. Could have a couple of more storms coming through on Tuesday. However, it does look like we've got another blast of heat coming for Thursday, the beginning of August.